Jane French, manager of Lachenau Community Library, an affiliate of Superior District Library. This has been a very interesting time for all of us with the COVID-19 changing our lives. I know um, it's, it's a major thing for everybody. We need to remember that we should be kind to others and keep them and ourselves safe. With that in mind, I wanna let you know that I have some good news. Our library gets to open next Tuesday, June 16th at 10 a.m. and we're gonna be starting our regular hours of business again. Uh, we are going to have in-person visits, so you may come inside as well as we are gonna do curbside service. So if you're concerned about coming inside, just give us a call. We can get your materials for you out of our collection and make sure that we make arrangements to get them to you without being in the library. Uh, an important thing, if you are not feeling well, please do not come into the library. Uh, we don't need to inadvertently harm anybody. And so, I need to have people start returning all the materials that you have been saving for us in the outside drop box. If it's too large to put in the drop box, please bring it inside and let the staff know. We'll take care of it and make sure we can sanitize it. If it is a DVD or an audio book, please wrap it in a plastic bag before you put it in the drop box. This will prevent the package from opening up and damaging the discs. Um, I would appreciate it if everybody could use the back door to enter, the one off the parking lot. I will have a stand inside that has hand sanitizer and the bathrooms are right there for washing your hands. I would appreciate that all the visitors follow the guidelines recommended by the CDC and OSHA, which is what we also have to follow. All staff and volunteers are going to be required to wear masks when dealing with the patrons and the public. If you come inside, as you enter the library, of course, I'm gonna have the hand sanitizers. Um, use them, don't touch your face. Washing your hands and not touching your face is the most important practice that you can do to prevent the spread of COVID-19 or any illnesses. So please wash your hands and don't touch your face. I would ask that people wear masks while you're in the library. This is both to protect you and to protect those around you. Please keep a social distance of at least six feet from anyone not in your party. Please stay six feet back from the circulation desk when you're waiting to check out. Um, if nobody's there, of course, come on up, stay, stand in front of the germ shield and that will protect both you and the uh, staff member that's helping you. There will be sanitizing wipes available in the building if you feel the need to wipe something down. There will also be disposable gloves upon request. If you are browsing in the shelves and you take a book off the shelf and look at it, I ask that you put it on a cart separate. We have to sanitize everything before they go back on the shelf. Even if you feel that you're healthy enough, I still have to follow these protocols. There will be only five public computers available for use this summer. Um, they will be on a first come, first served basis. Um, unless I determine that we need to schedule appointments, we can do that. Time on the computers are gonna be limited to one hour unless there are open computers. The computer stations will be sanitized between each use. And we're, the five is so that we can keep some social distancing between you and the next person. And please be respectful and kind to everybody that's here. We're all trying to get through this and do the right thing. If you would like curbside service, give the library a call. Um, we can, you, if you have computer access, you can search online through our online catalog. You just look up Lation Oak Community Library, or you can give us a call if you know what you're looking for. If you don't know what you want, but you do know an author or a genre, give us a call and we can pick something out for you. And then we will give you a call back and arrange time to meet so that you can get your materials. 
right now, the only materials that we are able to supply to you are things that we have here at our building. There will be no interlibrary loans yet. Uh, they want to purge the system, so everybody is going to be sending the borrowed materials back to the home libraries. And once this is completed, then we will op they will open it up so that we can start borrowing things from other locations. I have canceled most of the inside programs this summer. Uh, there will be a few out on the porch. We're going to have a few music on the porch, a group called Drumunity, Drumunity and they are a rhythm um, musical group. And the Michigan Science Center is going to be with us again this year for a program out on the porch. There will not be any preschool pop-in or story time or movies this summer or summer fun days. We uh, decided that we just couldn't control how uh, things could spread in those situations. We will be doing Makerspace on Thursday morning starting at 10 a.m. either the end of this month or the beginning of next month. We'll let you know. And if we don't have something that you want here, the other Superior District Libraries are going to be opening up soon. Your card will work at all of those locations. They include Pickford, Molly Collin Rudyard, Detour, Drummond Island, Engadine, Curtis, Brevoort Township in Moran, and Bayless in Sault Ste. Marie. So all of those places will be, you will be able to borrow things from if you want to. I want you to know that I have missed you all. I am thrilled that we're gonna get to open up again. We will do everything we can to keep everybody safe and to do things in the proper ways. But I am really looking forward to seeing you when you come back in. Thanks.